Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's another awesome day to be creative. And I'm so glad you've joined us tonight. We started the black and white workshop tonight and they had a lot of questions for me about why black and white and what makes a good black and white. So I was just thinking, okay, here's something that we all know, a Coke can and a Pepsi can. Let's make that into a black and white. So what do we got? So if you take a look at the back of the screen, the Coke can, the Pepsi can, the reflection here, you can see I have two of the Lytra lights coming into the scene. And what do I want to do here? I've got to just adjust the lights a little bit to get the light where I want it here. And using two pieces of cardboard here, two pieces of white cardboard, this is my main light source on the subject. So the lighter lights are coming into the cardboard that's going to reflect. And as long as I keep that cardboard out of the picture, it makes a beautiful soft light. So if I shoot this in color, right, play it back in color, that's what we expect it to look like. But now I want to show you a trick. On your camera, on this Nikon, I can go to the picture styles and one of those oops sorry went too far is monochrome see that and so i can do a black and white here in the camera now if i do black and white here in the camera it's going to shoot that and my two pepsi can't my pepsi and my coke can are going to be gray and that's not the image that i want when i shoot black and white i shoot it in raw in color and then I use the computer to process it. I use a program in Photoshop or in Lightroom called Nick Silver Effects. That way I'll be able to adjust the contrast of the light to change the relationship between the red and the blue to make the picture come like I want. So here with my scene, do I want my scene, sorry, to be gray like this? No. Do I want it to be color? No but I want it to be black and white with control. That's the secret. And one of the things I love about black and white photography is the control you get over the image. Mark Komen from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow for another great day to be creative.